Hi there, and welcome to this week's broadcast. I am super excited to share over the next several weeks, short interviews with some of my students. Now, these are students who joined my mini course from Doodles to Dollars, and then they came into my signature program, the Pattern Design Academy. And I think you're gonna be very inspired to hear about what they were doing before they learned about surface design, and what they're doing a very short time after coming into my hashtag Anne's Universe. Without further ado, let's jump in to this week's interview. And so Kyle, please tell us where you are in the world. I am in Atlanta, Georgia. My mother used to say she was not surprised that I grew up and became, you know, in advertising because I was always cutting, coloring, and pasting from the time I was very, very young. So it, I've always been a doodler and a drawer and, you know, grabbing clay and making, you know, little things. And I've just I've always done it. It's just a part of me. My mother was an artist as well. She and was a portrait artist, among other things. But yeah, so she really encouraged us all creatively to do whatever we wanted to do, you know, it's the old, you know, purple cow thing. You know, she didn't care. She just wanted us to draw. She wanted us to draw and paint and do whatever we wanted. You and I have this shared love of Paris because you lived there. And I went back deep, deep, deep. I have a, a portfolio that has really old artwork. You know, this was like, I don't know, I was 13 probably. And this is a, it's a scratch board. You know, you were living in Paris and I was drawing Paris. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. The, 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 the Arc de Triomphe is fantastic. And oh. then uh, just proof that I, I have never been able to do one medium at a time. This is, can you see this? Yes. Okay. So this is another very early piece and this is, oh God, Anne, I'm sorry. I'm so no, it's perfect. That. This is perfect. Um, this is like a tissue paper collage with ink and other things. And again, you know, just that's what I did. You know, I just, I loved mixing things and I still do. After I graduated from college, I actually taught art for two years in high school, which was kind of my life goal at the time. And everybody thought that was wonderful. I got married to my high school sweetheart at the time and after college and we moved to another city and I decided I didn't want to teach. So I went to work for a yearbook publishing company and I fell in love with just being out and meeting people and doing sales. I just, I love people. I really, really do. So I kind of got into the graphic end of things that way. And then when we moved back to Atlanta and life changed, I started my own small design boutique and originally was doing, I pulled this again out of the history vault, doing things like this. Oh my goodness, which, that's spectacular. I would work with builders and developers and, you know, creating architectural renderings. And because I'm a girl who can't say no, as the song says, <laughs> I would say, where are you going to be using this? And they would say, oh, we're going to put it in our ad. We're going to put it in our brochure. And I would say, well, could I see the design for that? Well, we don't have one yet. I'd say, well, how about let, letting me do that? So that was the, the genesis of my, my ad agency marketing firm, which I ran, grew, grew and ran for, you know, 25 years, really longer than that, probably closer to 30 years. And had ended up with clients all over the eastern part of the U.S., up into Canada and down into the Caribbean. So it wasn't until my son was born and I decided to divest myself of the whole agency thing and kind of take more of a consulting role. Mode. And interestingly enough, when I did that, I freed up a lot of my time. So as I did that, I was able to get back to my creativity personally, and I committed to a Wednesday morning art group that I attended for 20 years. And then we disbanded in early, 
fall of 2019, which was when, of course, as you know, I experienced a lot of life changes. And then I found you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. In, Jan- in, in January, February of 20, and my life changed again. Yeah. One reason I have just so loved, as you call it, Anne's universe, is because now I feel like I have a whole different team, cheering squad, you know, whatever you want to call it on my side and I'm on their side and they're all over the world. Yeah. I would have, I've never met Maria if I hadn't met you first. Right. And you know, she's in Sweden. So how wonderful is that? And you know, Tambry's in California. She used to live in Atlanta. You know, it's just an amazing, amazing community. And I'm a person who really needs that.